So while it's not the showdown with Errol Spence we hope for, we are just days away from Pacquiao's return to the ring. We are especially intrigued since he hinted it might be his farewell fight. Take a listen. In all the years I know you, this is the best Manny Pacquiao I've seen. You're not 42, you're 24. Well, uh, I'm doing my best uh, in training, um, pushing, my, pushing hard my, my, my body uh, in training. So the result is uh, like this, I'm ready for the fight. I'm excited for, you can, for Saturday. You can never underestimate anybody. Everybody says it's easy, it's easy. Maybe easy, maybe hard. What do you think about Ugas? No, um, never, never underestimate your opponent because he, he can punch also. So always uh, keeping safe, 100% condition, uh, physically, mentally, and spiritually. Everybody that I interview for this fight always tell me Manny Pacquiao is my inspiration. Sparring partners, celebrities, fighters. Who is Manny Pacquiao's inspiration? Who's your inspiration? My inspiration is God and my family. Of course, the, the support of the fans and the media. And what do you tell all the fans all over the world August 21st, Manny Pacquiao or Dennis Ugas, what can we expect? Thank you so much to all the fans of boxing uh, all over the world, the uh, media, press, uh, everything, my family. And uh, I hope that you are going to watch this uh, this, this fight. Don't miss it. It's going to be a good fight. It, could, it might be my last fight or there are more. Um, we don't know. Um, God knows. So don't miss it. Thank you so much for all your support. Now, Barack, you know, we've been hinting at Manny possibly beating Errol Spence and where we, would he, we put him on the all-time great list. And, you know, we even said that he might go down as the GOAT if he were to beat a young killer like Errol Spence Jr. Now, this is no disrespect to Ugas, who's a hell of a fighter and a world champion. I mean, this guy gave Sean Porter all he can handle. He's competitive with anybody in the welterweight division. So even a win over Ugas will be huge for Manny Pacquiao, especially at this age in his career. But no, it wouldn't be a narrow Spence. But if he were to get past Ugas, does he go up a few notches? Is he in the same place where you had him before the Ugas fight? What's your take on this being Manny's last fight, if that were the case? It would be another notch on his resume, another champion that he's beaten. Now this champion didn't beat the champion to become champ, but he's a champion nonetheless. He gave uh, Porter a, a close fight. I already have Manny Pacquiao as maybe top two, mm. right behind Floyd Mayweather. And I love his accomplishments more than Floyd. It's just that Floyd beat him. So it's kind of hard to put him over Floyd. Right. I just can't do it. Now, but if you think about it, Manny started his career in 1995. So he had a 26 career. Let's divide that in half. We could probably do it in thir threes, but let's divide it in half. From 95 to 2008, he already was a four division champ. He already beat guys like Morales twice, Barrera twice, Marquez, Oscar De La Hoya. Hall of Fame career already, 2008. Now, from 2009 on to now, 2021, ended when Keith Thurman and you talk about Antonio Margarito and Adrian Broner and, and everybody else that he beat, Cotto, like, that's another Hall of Fame career. You know, it's interesting you say that, Barack. I, I think, I mean, all these sanctioning bodies are doing it. Why not over there in Canastota, the Hall of Fame? They need to put him at a super Hall of Famer. Maybe they can give him an extra space or an extra room over there in that International Boxing Hall of Fame because no, he could be the franchise. Hall yeah, of Fame, right? yeah, the franchise <laughs> Hall of Fame. Bunch of divisions over there. Because I mean, to have two Hall of Fame careers is something special. Yes, I put him up a few notches if he would have beat Ugas, but I think his competitive spirit. I think the fans, if they were to watch him beat Ugas convincingly and still look fresh and clean, they'll clamor, they'll salivate for another fight against a top guy, whether it's Errol Spence or Terrence Crawford. So I just, I, if he were to beat Ugas in a clean fashion, I just don't see him walking away from the sport. No way. No, I, I, don't, I don't see that neither. But if he did, I have no complaints. Because in reality, you still get the respect. We was, what, two weeks away? Of fighting, of, of at least signing the dotted line to fight Errol Spence. Right. Come on, but at 42 years old, you still get that respect. Barack, you know how foolish some boxing fans are. And no disrespect to my sweet scientists out there, because there's so many of you. But they say you're as good as your last fight. Now, 
if he were to lose to Ugas, I don't see it happening, but Ugas is a competitive welterweight. He can possibly beat a 43-year-old Manny Pacquiao. If he does, will these foolish fans forget about his entire career, at least for a moment, and say, man, he lost to Ugas? And maybe does he drop a few notches in some people's lists? No, uh, Manny Pacquiao is one of the very, very few that are loved by most people. You're not gonna find too many people that dislike Manny Pacquiao on the planet Earth. You know what I mean? So he's the kind of guy that could take a loss. And you know, the, the, the flip side is that Ugas is not gonna get credit. What's gonna happen is that you'll see, even if you see the best Manny Pacquiao in there, people are gonna say, oh, Father Time beat Manny Pacquiao, he's 42 years old, which is not right, unless we've seen a decline in his performance. You know, then maybe we can say that. But you've seen what he did with Keith Thurman, very good performance, still had the speed, still had the pop, you know, and can go 12 rounds easily with stamina. And we'd like to see that with Ugas, but I think that no matter what, win or lose, He's still Manny Pacquiao, and he's still up on the top of the pound-for-pound pound list, you know, of all time, actually.